Hey everybody, Matt Powers, Sports Memorabilia. Hey, I just want to talk a little bit today about autographed helmets, uh, the difference between replica and authentic helmets, when should you get an authentic helmet, uh, the difference between speed and not speed. Uh, so a couple of different things. We'll touch on the mini helmets first and then I'll get into the, uh, the full size helmets, okay? Uh, so the mini helmets, there's a couple different options that you have to get. You have speed and non-speed, okay? So let me show you here what a uh, regular mini helmet looks like, okay? Okay, here's Baker Mayfield here. You can see there's no holes on the top of the helmet. Okay, speed helmets are gonna look like this, okay? See the little holes there, okay? The speed helmets are the kind of the newer versions of helmets. And so only the kind of the newer style players have been wearing them. So for example, like Troy Aikman didn't wear a speed helmet, okay? So something to keep in mind when you are getting uh, your autographs on helmets, whether they be full size or mini helmets, is pick the type of helmet that was in the era that the player played in. So for Troy Aikman, for example, uh, you wouldn't get him on a uh, speed helmet. He never wore that style of helmet. So it just wouldn't make sense um, uh, for him to be on that helmet, period. So uh, you want to always get something that the player actually would style that they would, wore, would wear. Um, Baker Mayfield, for example, he's going to be wearing the speed helmet, okay? So people are going to probably want the speed helmet, but that doesn't mean you necessarily can't get them on a non-speed. Uh, it just depends on your preference, and what I mean by that is uh, sometimes people like to get inscriptions on mini helmets, and sometimes the uh, inscriptions can be a, a little daunting, I guess, on a mini helmet. Obviously, this one doesn't have anything here, but you can see it's not a huge place to sign and do an inscription. So some people like to get the non-speed ones when they're doing uh, some special inscriptions on there, maybe more than one, for example, because you can get a nice, decent size signature, and then you got a little bit of room here for some inscriptions. For example, on the uh, mini helmet here with the speed, you know, the signature kind of takes up that good spot, and you've got these kind of awkward little holes that are there. Um, and if a player's got a really big autograph, sometimes like the, uh, the Broncos ones, um, some of the players have some big long autographs like Von Miller. It just kind of takes up the whole place. Baker's got kind of a shorter one, so it works well. But something to keep in mind is the player's length of their autograph too, um, whether it's going to kind of slide over these holes or whatnot. So just something to think about when you're getting your mini helmets done. Uh, on the full-size ones, so you've got a couple different options. Again, you've got full-size replica and you've got full-size authentic and then you've got full-size authentic speed, okay? Those are just kind of the three most popular ones. There are different other options for throwbacks and, and all that kind of stuff, and I won't get into that. I don't wanna, uh, I don't wanna bore you, <laughs> and I don't wanna get into too much detail on these helmets, but let's just start off with my idea and theory on when you should get a replica versus an authentic, okay? And a uh, authentic, I kind of like to use the rule of thumb that if I'm paying close to what I'm uh, for the autograph as I am for the helmet, then I wanna go for the authentic or the replica. So if I'm paying you know, 50 to $75 for an autograph, that's a little closer to the replica price than an authentic price. You know, the authentic helmets sometimes range from, uh, gosh, 200 bucks plus, you know, depending on which, which authentic helmet it is. So um, the replicas can range anywhere from 100 to, you know, 125, 150, depending on which, which one you're getting. So. Uh, if I'm paying more than $100 for an autograph, I kind of want to lean a little bit more towards the authentic. Like take Tom Brady, for example. You know, you're paying a thousand plus bucks for an autograph, right? You don't want them on a replica helmet, okay? Just splurge and get the extra little bit of uh, money on and get the actual authentic one, okay? You'll thank yourself in the long run and you'll appreciate it much better. Um, but let's get into what the differences is differences are, and I think you're gonna see why I'm saying to get the authentic one here in just a second. Um, but here's a basic replica, okay? Again, Baker Mayfield again, non-speed. Um, so just kind of a basic replica here, okay? You can see the insides has a little bit of padding, not much padding around the ear. Um, this helmet weighs somewhere around three pounds or so, I believe. Uh, you can tell the difference when you feel the replica and the authentic ones. Um, backside right there, okay, just standard replica, okay? Really light padding on the inside, okay? Here is a authentic non-speed here with Tony Gonzalez, okay? Uh, you can see the backing here. Then if a logo also comes with these cool little warning cards, don't put the helmet on your head and play with it. Um, 
Inside here, it's a little bit different than the other uh, replica. It's a heavier helmet. It's got more padding on the inside. This is, this is typical of what the players would wear. Um, sometimes they have uh, like the Browns ones here in the front there, the replica there. Sometimes the Chiefs will have it on the front too. That's always kind of a cool feature to look for. Um, but the replicas, they weigh you know over four pounds, so you can definitely tell the difference here. Um, so from the outside, you're really not going to see much of a difference. Um, but once you pick up the helmet and look on the inside, and you'll know in your heart whether or not it's a replica and authentic. Um, so for the more expensive autographs, I definitely like to get the authentic one. And here's another example of the authentic speed helmet. Again, tons of padding on the inside. You see Baker Mayfield there. Again, this is the speed one with the holes here. So you can kind of see the difference. He's kind of limited in where he can sign a little bit. But again, this is the style that he wore at Oklahoma. So that's the kind of what the collectors want. And uh, just kind of a cool piece to have there with the, uh, the speed on there. So those are gonna be the difference there. So you got the three different ones there. You got, um, and you can do replica speeds too, by the way. So you don't have to necessarily get the authentic one, but you can do the replica speeds on the full size. And then they've got a whole bunch of different other options, again, that I won't get into. So again, rule of thumb is, try to pay for the helmet as close to what you're paying for the autographs so they match up somewhat uh, more expensive autographs obviously go with the authentic ones the least less expensive ones go with the replica um, and also one other thing to really really think about is when you before you start doing autograph helmets is think about if you're one of those people that's kind of like add like me a little bit to a certain extent you know do you want consistency in your collection and that's a tough question to answer right off the bat. Do you want all authentic helmets or do you want all replica helmets? I know people sometimes get kind of flustered with it and they don't want to mix and match and stuff, and that's okay too. Um, but either way is fine. But just think about that before you start collecting. You know, do I want some sort of theme to this? You know, do I want all authentic or all replica or all speed or whatever you want to do? So um, those are just a couple things to really think about with your authentic and replica helmets. Again, there's no right or wrong way to do it. But just make sure that when you are getting the authentic ones that you're putting them on really, uh, you know, prime players, you know, like Aaron Rodgers, you know, Tom Brady, uh, those kind of guys. So if you guys got any questions, uh, again, go ahead and shoot me a message. You can find all the information on the website, powersportsmemorabilia.com, or you can comment below and let me know and I can do my best to help you out. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate it.